So we are well into 2023, and whilst we have done a video focusing on customizing iOS devices, and even a video all about One UI customization for Samsung phones, we are still yet to do a video that focuses on customizing any Android device. And so for today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a detailed step-by-step -step guide, breaking down exactly how you can customize any Android phone. We're gonna break this up into four steps, starting with the tools and assets needed to start customizing like a pro, moving all the way to setting up two different home screen setups, each with differing levels of difficulty. You can use the chapters below to skip to any point in the video that you like, but with that being said, let's get customizing. All right, the first step in the process that'll make your life as a customization enthusiast way better is to download an application called Palette. And yes, this is actually my very own application, but I'm not just saying to download it because it's my app, but I genuinely believe that this app is the best first step in leveling up your skills as a home screen customization aficionado. And that is because it is filled with nearly 1500 highly customized and beautiful home screen setups, each of which have been manually approved by me. And every single setup includes all the assets needed to recreate them perfectly. We're talking links to third party launches, links to icon, widget and wallpaper packs. And for most setups, you'll also find launcher backup files and sometimes even wallpaper files as well. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about recreating the setups found within Palette later on in this video. But seriously, if you wanna up your skills in customization, as well as just get inspired, then this app is a must have. Now from there, let's talk about launches. For the past few years, I've actually veered away from using third-party launches given how they impacted the animations and fluidity related to using navigation gestures. And instead, I often preferred using a phone's stock launcher and then I always attempted to use every trick in the book to customize that. And I actually created an entire video focusing on all the best tricks and assets you can use to customize a phone's stock launcher. So I'll link to that up in the cards and down below in case you're interested. But what's really exciting is that the godfather of all third-party launches, Nova Launcher, released a super exciting update partway through last year that severely improved the experience of using gestures when using it as your default launcher. The only caveat is that more often than not, you've gotta be using either a Pixel phone or an AOSP-based device with Android 12 or later. And you've gotta also install the beta version of Nova Launcher, which is currently not available on the Play Store. Now, some other non-AOSP devices may also work well with this version of Nova Launcher, so it's probably worth trying regardless, but if you have it installed and you're using a device that supports it, then the experience is seriously amazing. Not quite as fluid as the stock launcher, but pretty dang close. And in fact, it's so good that I actually run Nova Launcher full time on my Pixel 7 Pro. I'm hoping that other third party launchers lift their game to support this same level of fluidity like Nova Launcher. But until then, Nova Launcher is my absolute number one recommendation in terms of third party launchers. And that's just fine with me because it's also the most powerful in terms of customization as well. And for anyone who hasn't used a third-party launcher before, then just be aware to actually use one. You'll need to come into your phone settings, then into the app section, then find and tap on the default apps option, then home app, and then change this to whichever launcher you wanna use, which for this video will be Nova Launcher. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move on to actually creating a home screen setup. And to make life easy for everyone, the two setups I'll be showcasing in this video can actually be found within the featured category in palette, then under this best of palette section, and then finally under this episode at the top here. We're gonna kick things off with a fairly simple setup in terms of the actual setup process, which is this one here called Alone Fox. And as with all the setups found within palette, we have all the assets we need right here on this page, including links to the Reef Pro Icon Pack and the Decker KWGT Pack, which you'll wanna tap on to download if you're recreating this setup exactly. And then if we tap on this little more button at the bottom here, we can then tap to download the Nova Launcher backup file for this setup, which will make the process of recreating this setup super quick and efficient. 
Then we can tap on the wallpaper link here. And as you can see, the wallpaper is from an application called Lunar Wallpapers. So we'll open that. And then if we head back into palette, you can see that for most setups, there will also be this little information icon at the top. And when we tap on that, you can see we get the name of the wallpaper, which is also a lone fox, as well as the names of the widgets, which we'll use later on. So opening up Lunar Wallpapers again, let's now search for a loan. And there it is, the wallpaper we're after. So we'll tap on apply, then set both, then okay. And with that done, we can come back home and start getting the rest of the home screen set up. So we'll long press our home screen, then tap on settings. Then we'll come down and select the backup and restore option, select restore and select that alone Fox backup we just downloaded. We'll then tap on OK, and because we already have the icon pack installed and the wallpaper applied, you can see that the home screen is now looking very close to complete with the only thing left to set up being the widgets. And just for reference, pretty much all of the widget packs used for the various setups within Palette, they're actually what we call KWGT widget packs. So you will need to make sure that you have that application installed as well link below in case it's not, but then coming back to palette and again, tapping this little info icon at the top here, we can see that our widgets are called 030 and 072 respectively. So let's come back home and tap on our top widget here. Then all we need to do is search for 30 and select the option from Decker KWGT that shows up. Then I'll come back home and tap on the bottom widget, then search for 72 and again, select the Decker widget that shows up. Then I can come back home and there you have it. This beautiful home screen setup is now complete. And thanks to that backup file and all the information provided in Palette, I think you'll agree that it really was outrageously simple to recreate. All right, now before we move on to the next more advanced setup, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Ampere. So Ampere is a company that is all about creating fun and functional tech and their latest product, the Dusk Smart Sunglasses, well, they fit the bill to a T. So if you remember that concept phone that OnePlus made a few years back, which had this electrochromic glass technology for that glass section on the back, well, these Dusk Smart Sunglasses actually use the same technology. And this means that you're able to change the tint level of the sunglasses whenever you like, instantly. You can do so using the hidden button on the side of the glasses to toggle between four presets. Or what's really cool is that you can also use the Ampere app to have even finer control over the tint level and even make the lenses darker than what's available by default. On top of that, the glasses also have built-in audio, which means you can use them to listen to your favorite music or podcasts or even to take phone calls. And then beyond all of that incredible tech, the glasses just look really sleek and stylish as well. So to learn more about these amazing smart sunglasses or to pick up a pair for yourself, use the first link down in the description below. Okay, moving on to setup number two, and this one is called Miniature. And as mentioned, it is quite a bit more advanced compared to the previous setup. Opening it up within Palette, we can see that the Icon Pack was made using Icon Pack Studio and the Line X Black Icon Pack, which I'll show you how to set up in a moment. Plus, we can also see that the setup is using widgets from two separate packs this time, the Clear and Minty packs respectively. Oh, and again, if we tap the information icon up here, then we can also see the specific names of each widget, which we'll use later on when setting them up. So let's close that and then tap here where it says more. And then we'll again tap to download the Nova Launcher backup file. Then we're gonna tap where it says wallpaper. And the wallpaper for this setup comes from this app here called Minimal Walls. And if we open that and then come over to the categories page, the wallpaper we're after is from this Mini World category. And it's this one here called Mini World 3. So we'll tap here to apply it, then tap on set both, then okay. And with that done, we can come back home and there we go, our wallpaper is set. And geez, you gotta admit, this wallpaper looks incredible. All right, from there, let's get our icon pack set up. And as mentioned, for this icon pack, we need the Linex Black icon pack installed, as well as the icon pack studio application installed. And so if we open up palette once more and tap here where it says Linex Black Remix, we'll be taken straight into the icon pack studio application where we can then tap on download, then tap on it, hit apply, then once it's finished applying, we can tap this notification to install it. I've already got a previous icon pack installed via the icon pack studio application. So I'll instead tap on update, but with that complete, we can now come back home. 
From there, we'll long press our home screen and tap on settings. Then we're gonna come down to the backup and restore section and tap to open it. Then we'll tap on restore backup and then select that recently downloaded Nova Launcher backup file called miniature.nova backup. We'll tap on okay. And with that done, all that's left to do is to set up our widgets, but this is actually where things are gonna get a little spicy. So opening palette once more, first you've got to make sure that you have both widget packs installed. And then I'm going to once again, tap this little information icon here. And our first widget at the top here is called clear 82. So I'll come back home and tap on that top widget space. Then I'm going to simply search for the number 82 and select the clear 82 widget that shows up. Now, when we come back home, you can see that the widget is too small compared to the original setup. So we'll tap to open that again and come straight over to the layer tab. And then I'm just gonna tap once on the right arrows to scale it up by 20. Then I'll save that, come back home, and there we go. Let's now tap on our bottom widget space. Then I'm gonna search for 058 then select the minty widget that shows up. And then again, when I come back home, you can see that the widget is way too small. So I'll tap on it and come over to the layer tab. And again, tap the right arrows once to scale it up by 20. And then if we save that and come back home, you'll see that our home screen is pretty much complete, except for the fact that the colors in our widgets are actually different compared to those found on the original setup in palette. So to fix that, let's tap on our top widget here and then tap to open this overlap group. Then we'll select the bottom overlap group and tap this top icon layer. Then we'll come over to the paint tab and tap on this color code here and enter the color code 8E005D. With that done, we'll tap the tick icon, then tap apply. And then we're gonna come over to the FX tab and tap where it says texture and change this to vertical gradient. We'll leave the color set to black, then change the offset to around 80. Then we'll tap on save, come back home, and there we go. Then we'll tap on this bottom widget. And this one actually has a number of elements that need editing, but to make life a little bit easier for ourselves, we're gonna set up some global parameters to change our colors instead. So let's tap here where it says globals, then tap this plus icon and give it a title like BG1 for background one, and then hit okay. Then we'll tap on that newly created global. And we're again gonna change this to that same purple color we previously set up with the hex code 8E005D. Then hit apply and there we go. Then we're gonna tap the plus icon again to create another global. And this time give it the title Cal1 for calendar one. Then again, we'll tap our newly created global. And this time we'll change the color to 895B16. We'll hit apply and then we'll create one last global and call this date one, tap on okay. And then we'll again select our newly created global and change this to the color code 83A26F. With that done, we'll again tap on apply. And now we can start using these globals to actually change our various elements. So we'll come over to the items tab, then open this widget group. Then we'll first tap on our calendar icon, then the font icon layer come over to the paint tab and tap where it says color and change this to the cal one global we just set up. Then we'll go back, then back again. And this time we'll select this month layer. We'll tap on this top text layer, then come over to the paint tab, tap where it says color. And then this time change it to the date one global. Then we'll come back twice again, select the bottom days group. And then we'll start by selecting the top group called one, then select the BG layer, then the bottom BG layer, come over to the paint tab. And this time we need to tap the checkbox next to the color section, then tap on the globe icon up here. And this changes it to a globals option. Now we can tap the color code here and select the BG1 global we created. Then we just need to come back and repeat that process for two of our remaining boxes. So we'll open the group called three, then tap on BG, then BG again, come over to the paint tab, tap the little checkbox, then tap the globe icon, then tap the color code, change this to BG1, and there we go. We'll come back once more, tap on the group called five, then again BG, BG again, then come over to the paint tab, tap the little checkbox, then the globe icon, then tap the color code, change this to BG1, and now we can finally tap on save, come back home, and our widget, and therefore our entire setup is now complete. 
But the great thing about changing those colors using globals is that now if I like, I can come back into that widget, then come over to the globals tab and change any of those colors really quickly, which makes changing up a widget to perhaps suit your wallpaper or whatever you like, really, really convenient. And this is kind of what I love about customizing a home screen setup. You can spend hours if you want making a home screen setup and customizing every little aspect, or you can spend just a few minutes. But either way, you can still end up with a fantastic result, much like the two setups in today's video. Oh, and before we finish up, I've had a lot of people asking me to create an Android version of my recent iPhone 14 Pro home screen setup. And I'm pleased to say that this is now available within Palette. The amazing Raj Arya put together the two widgets, which are available via his latest MIUI 14 widgets and super icons widget pack, which I will link separately below as a thanks to him. And then you've also got the Nova launcher backup file and everything else you need for this setup available in Palette. So for those who are wanting an easy way to recreate that setup on an Android device, there you go. So there you have it. That is your deep dive into what I consider to be the key steps for Android customization in 2023. And thank goodness we no longer have to rely on using our phone stock launcher. The fact that we can once again use a third party launcher without sacrificing on user experience is seriously incredible. And if you do end up creating your own unique setup, then definitely have a go at submitting it to Palette. And who knows, maybe your setup will end up being featured on the channel at some point in the future. Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.